Let's help you make your mark. In some cases the yurt has been considered a temporary structure, while in others it has been considered a permanent or semi-permanent structure. A yurt may have to meet requirements in the areas of snow load, seismic rating, wind speed and fire safety, but these are dependent on location. Let's help you make your mark. While you may assume that yurts are hard to heat, as they lack solid walls, yurts are actually designed for energy efficiency. Today, modern technologies allow yurt owners to feel comfortable, regardless of the weather outside. Let's take a look at how you can successfully heat your yurt this winter point 24 October 2016. Let's help you make your mark. Since ancient times, the Mongolian people have relied on yurts to withstand harsh conditions. In the Mongolia steppes, winter night temperatures often hover around minus 30 degrees, while summer heat blasts as high as 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and high wind is common. Read on to learn more tips about cooling a yurt.24 August 2016. Let's help you make your mark. Most yurts have three to five layers of felt and, often, an outer layer of waterproof fabric such as canvas. There are two main types of yurts, gurs and bentwood yurts. The only difference is their roof. A gear is the older, traditional style of yurt.12 July 2017. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.